What if we told you that your car will cost you more than what you paid for when you bought it? Yes, that's right, because you often don't consider the running cost of a gasoline car, especially the cost of fuel. You will have to pay more than $1,000 on average per year to run your car, and these costs will add up depending on your age of your car, which is why you then need to get those Teslas or any other EV. But how much does it cost to charge a Tesla then? Well, stick till the end of the video to find out just that. In today's video, we'll be looking at the running costs for a Tesla. When you look at the automotive industry in general, the industry had a lack of momentum in terms of innovations, and that's precisely when Tesla decided to change the game with their electric offerings. The future of the automotive industry will be all electric vehicles, and there is no doubt about that. Today, Tesla is leading the race for electric vehicles because Tesla is offering compelling products in different price ranges from the Model S Plaid to the much more affordable Model 3. Tesla is also responsible for bringing in a lot of excitement in the electric car segment because before Tesla, the entire segment was extremely dull and boring. It is only because of the success of Tesla that people are even considering buying an electric vehicle as their daily driver, and that is a huge statement. There are so many reasons to buy an electric car. But the major one will be the maintenance cost, because with an electric motor that is running your car, your maintenance costs will be extremely low, and most importantly, you don't have to pay for fuel anymore. But electric vehicles are more expensive than their gasoline counterparts because batteries are one of the major components in an electric vehicle, and they're pretty expensive. Even then, the maintenance costs remain less than half of what it'll cost you with a gasoline car. Fuel costs are also increasingly rampant, and it is another reason to consider buying an EV, and that too a Tesla. The prices of EVs like the Model 3 have also been increasing rapidly, and Elon Musk tweeted that the prices are increasing due to major supply chain price pressure. Even the prices of the raw materials are also increasing. This is also very evident from the fact that the company has updated its vehicle prices less than half a dozen times ever since February 2021. The Tesla Model 3 Standard Plus Variant's price increased from $36,990 in February to $39,990 in late May. The Tesla Model Y Long Range AWD version has become close to $51,990 over the same period from $49,990. So yes, Teslas are not affordable, and they're not for everybody. Teslas also have far fewer moving parts than a regular internal combustion engine which also helps to drive down the maintenance cost. The battery also comes with eight years of guarantee with unlimited miles. Still, you also need to keep in mind that a battery replacement, especially for the Model S, can cost you anywhere from $3,000 to $8,000. And these prices can change depending on the time you watch this video. When Tesla EVs started getting popular after the debut of its Model S in 2012, many customers saw added perks like unlimited supercharging, Few Tesla owners still get unlimited supercharging options, and the company spent over $23 million on free supercharging just in 2021 alone. The Performance Model 3 came with unlimited supercharging for some time, but it is only applicable for the first owner. The Model Y also gets a free year supercharging if it was purchased in December 2020. Let's assume that you own a Model X with a 100 kilowatt hour battery, and you pay the national average cost of electricity in the US of about $0.13 per kilowatt hour, while considering a charging efficiency of 85%, which is standard for level 2 home charging stations. So based on these parameters, it would cost you about $15.29 for a Model X to fully charge. The 2021 Model X long range also has 360 miles on a single charge, so this will cost you $0.042 per mile or $4.24 per 100 miles driven. Also, keep in mind that both the Tesla Model X Long Range and the Model X Plaid comes with a 100 kilowatt hour battery, but the older versions of the Model X may have battery capacities as low as 60 kilowatt hours, and the prices will also vary accordingly. The Long Range model costs $99,990, and the Plaid model costs $119,990. If you happen to own the Model X Plaid 2021 with a range of 340 miles, the cost per mile will be slightly higher 
at about $0.045, or it'll cost you $4.49 per 100 miles. It will also depend on the type of charger you're using, the cost of electricity in your area, and whether you're charging the battery from 0 to 100. Now let's say if you happen to own the standard range Model 3, which comes with a 50 kilowatt hour battery and with a range of 263 miles on a single charge, you'll be expected to pay $7.65 to charge the battery fully and that makes the cost per mile of $0.029 or $2.91 per 100 miles. When you look at the long range model for the Model 3, you're looking at a range of 353 miles on a single charge while the performance model will give you about 315 miles of range on a single charge. It'll cost you approximately $12.54 to charge these models, which means you'll have to pay $0.036 per mile for the long range and $0.04 for the performance model per mile. When it comes to the Model S, there are two models for the Model S, the long range and the plaid models. Both of these models come with a 100 kilowatt hour battery and if you have the long range model with an impressive range of 405 miles on a single charge, it'll cost you about $15.29 for a full charge. This means that you're looking at a price of $3.70 per 100 miles or $0.037 per mile, which is impressive. You also need to consider that the long range dual motor all wheel drive Model S will cost you $82,990 and the tri-motor all-wheel drive plaid model will cost you $122,990. If you happen to be an owner of the Model Y, which is the newest in the lineup, all of these models come with a 76 kilowatt hour battery. The long range Model Y will cost you $53,990 and the performance model will cost you $60,990. So to fully charge the standard range model, you're looking at $11.47 and that's about $0.047 per mile, or 4.7 per 100 miles. While the 82 kilowatt hour batteries on the other trims will run you about $18.82 each. Now these numbers are extremely impressive, but the problem is that charging your electric car at your home is one of the most common charging methods for most EV users. The cost of charging your EV will also be included in your average electricity bill for your house. That being said, the charging costs will depend on the frequency of charging, the type of chargers you have, and how frequently you end up using the public supercharges. Let's say that you travel 8,000 miles per year in your car, and this might equate to around 2,800 kilowatts of additional electricity on your annual bill if one kilowatt equals 3.5 miles. You also need to consider the differences between models because a Tesla Model S with a 100 kilowatt hour battery will have more charging time than the Model 3. But the best part is so many Tesla owners are now finding innovative ways to charge their vehicles. The most popular option is to add solar panels on top of your house because the sun is available for free, which can be utilized to generate power at your home. A 6 kilowatt hour solar system will cost around $17,100 before the current 26% tax credit and around $12,654 after the tax credit. It will generate between 6,130 to 10,500 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. This is between 184,000 to 315,000 kilowatt hours over the 30 year life of a solar power system or about 5.6 cents per kilowatt hour. This is almost 35% less than the national average cost of power and less than a third of the cost of grid power. It can be at least 65% cheaper to charge your Tesla with home solar power rather than using grid electricity, depending on where you live. The bottom line is that it'll cost you at least $780 per month on average to own a gasoline car. And at the price of a Lexus or an Audi, you can purchase a Tesla and you'll have the convenience of not having to visit the gas station. You don't even have to worry about oil changes or buy new filters. You can plug in the car before you sleep and when you wake up, you will have your battery completely charged and ready to go start driving the next day. With that, we've come to the end of our video. What do you think about the running costs of a Tesla? Do let us know in the comments section below because we would love to hear from you all. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. And while you're at it, turn on the post notifications so you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Drop a like for the video if you're excited about the future of EVs. That's it for today.
catch you all in the next one.